Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eighth grade, unit five, lesson eight, linear functions. Problem number one. Two cars drive on the same highway in the same direction. The graphs show the distance d of each one as a function of time, t. Which car drives faster? Explain how you know. The y-axis, or the vertical axis, is labeled d. It represents distance. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, is labeled t. That represents time. Which car drives faster? Which line reaches the furthest distance in the shortest amount of time? The line for car B reaches the furthest distance in the shortest amount of time. So car B drives faster. Problem number two. Two car services offer to pick you up and take you to your destination. Service A charges 40 cents to pick you up and 30 cents for each mile of your trip. Service B charges $1.10 to pick you up and charges C cents for each mile of your trip. A. Match the services to the lines L and M. The y-intercept for line L is just a little bit greater than 1. That represents the service charge, which is $1.10, a little bit more than $1. So line L would match up with service B. And the y-intercept for line M is less than half of 1. So that would match up with the $0.40 cents service charge for service A. Problem number three. Kieran and Claire like to race each other home from school. They run at the same speed, but Kieran's house is slightly closer to school than Claire's house. On a graph, their distance from their homes in meters is a function of the time from when they begin the race in seconds. A. As you read the graphs left to right, would the lines go up or down? This example of their graph shows that the distance from home at the start of the race is greatest, and the distance from home at the end of the race is smallest, so their lines would go down from left to right. B. What is different about the lines representing Kieran's run and Claire's run? Their lines have different y and x intercepts. C. What is the same about the lines representing Kieran's run and Claire's run? These lines have the same slope. Problem number four from eighth grade unit three lesson 11. Write an equation for each line. We can use this slope intercept form template. This space represents the slope and this space represents the y-intercept. Let's start with the green line. The green line has zero slope, so we insert a zero in this space. And the y-intercept is at negative 2, so we insert a negative 2 in this space. So now the equation reads y equals 0 times x plus negative 2. And that's the same thing as y equals negative 2. What that means is no matter where you are on this green line, the y value is negative 2. Now let's look at the yellow line. The yellow line has a slope that goes down 3, so that's a negative 3, and to the right 1. So it's a negative 3 slope. And the y-intercept is located at positive 5. Now the equation reads y equals negative 3x plus 5. Now let's take a look at the red line. The red line has a slope of up 2, so that's a positive 2, and to the right 1, that's a positive 1. So that's a slope of 2. And the y-intercept of the red line is located at 5. Now the equation reads y equals 2x plus 5. Next, let's look at the black line. The black line has the same slope as the red line, and that's 2. And it has a y-intercept of negative 6. So the equation reads y equals 2x plus negative 6, which is the same as y equals 2x minus 6. And finally, let's look at the vertical blue line. The vertical blue line has no slope, it's also called an undefined slope. And you'll notice that it doesn't have a y-intercept either because it's a vertical line. The x-intercept is 5. The x-value will always be 5 no matter where you are on this vertical line. 
The equation reads x equals 5. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.